morning guys and welcome to Operation Award Ceremony. I told you guys before, this is Sophie's first award ceremony. She's gonna get ribbons for whatever she placed in the show series that she showed with Storm this year. And it is going to be a fun, amazing night. Spent with friends and barn family and nothing is better than that. But we have a lot to do before we get to tonight. I have to make, make a dessert that I'm taking. I have to write a speech that I'm giving and I have to get ready and get the girls ready and make sure everybody has what they need. A lot in one day. But before we can do any of that, we're going to ride Harvey. I'm just calling Gabby. Tell her to get her butt out here. This is what it looks like when you have a busy day. Still waiting for Gabby. This is a drink that we get from our local store. I'm sure it's made with ginger ale, but it's a ginger, orange ginger drink, I think. Anyways. I'm not addicted to pop, I'm not addicted, like, I'm not addicted to anything. I'm not addicted, I don't have an addictive personality. It's not, I hate when people say, oh, I'm not addicted to things, <laughs> because you are who you are, like, that is genetic, and I just don't have that gene. I have other genes, but I don't have that one. Um, but I am addicted to this, like, I can't go a day. This is how I start my morning every day, it's like, it's the ginger in it. I love ginger, I'm trying to find a way to make a ginger drink myself that doesn't have pop in it, something that I love. I've, I've messed around with like getting ginger ale and then and then putting ginger in it, but how do you work with ginger? I find it really difficult. I boiled it and then used like the infusion. I don't know, help me out. If any of you guys are into ginger or ginger drinks, let me know how you process ginger. I wanna use like raw ginger, real ginger, not the powder. The powder doesn't mix very good because I tried that too. Oh, he's like, are you coming for me? We're coming for you. We are coming for you. Aww, he knows her. He was not like that when we first rode him. He was like, who are you and what do you want with me? What a good baby. Oh gosh, you have such beautiful eyes. So I always think like after a time has gone by, and I always think like, oh, he's not that special. He's just a horse. But then I come here and he is so special. Let's go, big guy. Good morning, kitty cat. I love his face. Gabby was gonna ride today because the weather is really nice. And Brandon said he's riding today too on a trail. So then I was like, oh, you should just do trail together. And he said, yeah. So then he just asked me if I wanted to ride. And I was like, holy heck, I do. The horse is here. I want to. You don't want me to? I won't scream. I really want to, but I didn't bring, I didn't bring my helmet or my boots, but I would ride. Like I, the horses here are my kind of horses. They are to die for. He's like, who are you talking about? I'm the only good one here. <laughs> yes, you want a pet? I love a Roman nose on a horse. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Lifting up your foot like a good boy. <laughs> so this is Brandon's saddle. And it's also Gabby's favorite brand. That's where Gabby got it from. And like that's where she got, fell in love with this brand. And so I'm just showing it off to you guys. It's an older one, but I love it. <laughs> He's uh, pooping all the way out. All right, so they're going on a, on a trail in the behind. He's excited because he has a friend. That's all I can show you. I'm excited to hear about how it is when they get back though. Got, he's a baby. Harvey's almost four. He'll be four in April, I think. So he'll be four. He'll be four when Gabby turns 17. So he'll be four in just a couple of months, four months. And he's starting out slow brandon has him started out slow and hopefully the plan is for gabby to start showing him but brandon's gonna show him first brandon's gonna like take him and get him into showing obviously it'll be flat stuff because he can't jump for another year at least and um the plan hopefully the plan right now <laughs> there's a horse it's a draft horse it's really big and it's trying to buck <laughs> There they go.
I haven't had a chance to check comments uh, the last like three days, I think. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna get back to them really soon. It's just a crazy busy weekend, and then I'm gonna get back to them. But I wanted to talk about two things really quick while I wait. This is the only chance I'm gonna have to sit down for the whole rest of the day, probably. But one was Ellie being Ellie having anxiety separation anxiety um so I've been really paying attention the last few days because it's weird how she does that it's almost like you know how when a mama dog is gone and then the babies come and then they all like suckle and they make those noises <laughs> like because they want to get close to the mom and they want to get like that bond or whatever so I noticed like today that she does it a lot you know how terrier specifically they'll like attack other animals if they come close like they're very protective of their owner Ellie does not do that. She will do it like if a rooster comes near me or if another like if a one of our barn animals if she thinks they're trying to hurt me she will do that but I know like a lot of terriers that are protective of their owners without any sign of like danger for their owner. She doesn't do that but I noticed that like if, an, if I'm petting Ruby and I'm kissing Ruby and I'm rubbing Ruby that's when she wants to come in push her way in and come in and suck on my necklace. So it's almost like a I, I, I can't for sure tell if it's anxiety, if it's separation and anxiety, because she does do it when I come home, but it's almost like, I don't know, she does it when I'm paying attention to another animal to get between me and the other animal to love on me. So I've been like putting her down and not letting her do it as much just to see if I can like, because I don't want that to develop into something else. But anyway, I'm just going to keep watching and we'll see what actually is going on with her. The other thing that I saw, I saw a comment the other day where someone said that maybe Storm is like, like studly, like, like more like a stud. And I know he did get gelded later than normal. He was like a late geld and he has always been like that. And the big thing about that, like it is true that his attitude and his personality I think reflect the fact that he had some hormones for a longer time but he that's why he throws little tiny fits when he's riding like people sometimes I feel like misunderstand and think like when he does that little kick out or that little buck or he throws his head they think Storm's being hurt or Storm's unhappy about something but to be honest every time somebody squeezes him he will do that buck out if they cluck to say go forward he will do that kick out it's like his attitude it's his it's that studliness about him it's that those hormone things that happen it's it's the same as how like he always wants to round up the horses all the time constantly it's like that need in him to be the leader it's the same reason why he does those kick outs and why he tosses his head and why you can't tell him anything if you use a crop and just even if you lightly tap him he will kick out every time, which obviously he doesn't like it. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say those things that though those things I noticed in the comments that I haven't had time to like really mess with. I haven't had really time to address them. I'm so grateful that Gabby has the opportunity to, to ride Harvey and possibly show Harvey and bring him along a little. All right, so Gabby said she had fun. She got to canter him up a hill. How did he canter up it, a hill? It wasn't my plan. Really? Well, he gets really excited when going up hills because he used to live on one. Oh yeah, that's right. Ran, he didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, he didn't break a sweat. So she did some cantering. Yeah. That was the smoothest he's ever cantered was up a hill. Really? I know. I, I swear to God, everything, I, I have to do anything. Like if I have to canter a horse for the first time ever, I'm going to go up a hill because it is fun. How was Brandon's horse? Well, he spooked at a deer. He spooked at a deer and then... Like all I saw was like the butt of the deer, like the white. Yeah. As it ran away. Yeah. I think there's like two or something. Yeah. Um, so Brandon's horse spooked and like went to the side and stuff. After Brandon's horse stopped spooking, Harvey spun around. <laughs> so Harvey it's the spooked. Smoothest thing ever. Like yeah. the beginner could just sit there and he. Yeah, he, he just spun around and then stopped. He just turned dead. around. Yeah. <laughs> Put my butt to you. That will save me. Only after Brandon's horse stopped spooking. Yeah, so he, he waited. He looked up when Brandon's horse was spooking, and he saw that he was spooking, and then after he stopped, he turned around. Yeah. Like, Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> He's amazing. That horse is amazing.
It is 12.30, like just after lunch, and we're in the getting ready mode. I made two chocolate trifles. It's 12.40 right These are for the party. This is our contribution. It's a potluck, and it always goes over well. Everybody always eats it, so. And I always wear a hat. I always wear a hat when I do it because I'm worried about hair getting in food and then serving it to people. That's like a big worry for me so gabby's already had her shower getting gabby showered is the biggest thing it's going to take us all the rest of the day to get ready for this thing and then when we're all made beautiful guess what we have to do chores <laughs> to put the animals into bed before we leave so anyway sophie's gonna go and have her shower now and then I'm gonna have my shower and then we're all gonna get ready. So this video might be short. I'm definitely gonna show you guys um, our finished looks. And you will never believe, I have like a ponytail in the top of my head. Can I take your hat off? No, not until I'm done. But you guys will never believe how I wrote my speech. So LV and I are gonna give a speech at the end, like after, I don't know, before, be back. I need to come to the before the awards or after the awards or whatever, we're gonna give a speech. She's gonna go and then like, she's gonna say something, then I'm gonna say something, then she's gonna say something. And guess how I wrote my parts? Chat, GBT, yeah, I used AI to write my speech. Cause I get emotional and I get like, it's hard for me to write. I'm not good at writing. I might not wear mascara because I always cry. But anyway, we're gonna do a little speech up there. We're gonna show you what we're gonna look like at the end before we end this vlog, but we're probably gonna, I'm probably not gonna film anymore from now until we're ready to go in a couple of hours. So. It's gonna be a bad night. Why? Because I already have a headache. Take some Tylenol, will that affect you though? Tylenol, no. Mm. I always take Tylenol. Yeah, and when I take Tylenol, I'm like out for the whole night, I'm sound asleep, so. Wait, it's because your hat's wrong. Oh, well anyways. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. We'll see you guys in a little bit when we are ready to go. Sophie, you come first. Yeah, you go, Sophia. So this is her outfit. She's gonna have dress shoes. I, I love the bodice on her dress. Do a twirl. I have a snowman. snowman. Back up a bit. So that's her dress. I love it. And look at her necklace. I really adore it. It looks really cute right now. All right, Gabby's done yeah, waiting. We'll Sorry. Right over because they're warm and comfy. So this is Gabby's dress. I'm taking them off. It's got green sparkles on it. Isn't that cool? And she has a little, um, a little sweater thing, and she has shoes too. But she's wearing black pants. Black, but she's wearing. Then where's the stuff underneath? Where's that stuff? Yeah. So and her hair, your curls look amazing. Oh well, all right. Guess well. who's the only one that didn't dress up? I dressed up. Oh my gosh. You put jeans on, guys. So impressive! Wait, somebody has to film me. So they all left me. <laughs> they all left me. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing, can you guys see? I'm wearing a skirt and a sweater. Wait, let me see. All right, let me just go back further. Okay, hey, hold, on. hold on. Okay, you guys see? I'll film at the party so you guys can get a better idea of what we're wearing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?